corner. And he brings it all the way back. We've got Lindquist open coming across the middle and breaks two tackles for the touch. We'll have it wide open. I'm not exactly sure. Wide line, and he's going to go. Touchdown. First play in the offensive play. Welcome, Hopkins and football fans, to Dave Hughes Stadium, where tonight, Friday, November 8th, your Hillers are taking on the Milford Hawks. Hi, my name is Rick Decina. I am here with, oh, it's great to have him back, Don <laughs> Lehman uh, in Rick. the booth to uh, kick off a. I guess we'll call it a consolation round game, Don, because both teams are now out of the playoffs, and uh, it should be a pretty good uh, tilt tonight. Yeah, I think by definition, this is what uh, this is what this game is. It's a consolation game. Both teams lost last week in the playoffs. Um, we have the details here, and Rick, you can go into that. But uh, you know, we're, we're you know, with the way they have restructured these playoffs um, a few years ago, you know, you, you play random teams. This happens to be a pretty interesting matchup here. I mean, it's a cold night. You've got the Milford Hawks coming in, who's a, a neighboring town. Um, what kind of interesting caveat here is the, one of their quarterbacks is 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 the son of our you know, Hopkinton's ex head coach. So, and that's uh, Jim Gerard's kid. So, it makes for an interesting backdrop here. It's it's football in November, and uh, and thank you, Rick. I am happy to be back. Oh, it's great to have you back, Don. And I will, I will say this, uh, this is the first Friday night game we've had here at Dave Hughes Stadium. Everything has been Saturday uh, afternoons up until now because of the Triple E, and it is the coldest night by far that we've had this year. Yeah, I think the mosquito scare is over, um, and I'm just happy to be inside of this booth right now because it is, uh, it's, it's freezing out there. So it's not going to be cold for those football players down there, I can tell you that, though. Um, at least the ones that are on the field. Yeah, they'll be playing pretty hard, I'm sure. So you touched upon it a little bit. You know, Milford finished number five in Division Three South. They lost last week to Walpole, uh, a 34-9 contest uh, that knocked them out of the playoffs. Uh, Hoppington also at two and four made the playoffs and lost to uh, Plymouth South, 42-6. to six. So that was pretty much a – sounds like it was a pretty much of a, a whooping – and uh, they have a chance now to redeem that loss and get that taste out of their mouth. Yeah, I mean, from here on out, I mean, you know, high school kids are very resilient. They go on to the next thing that it's in front of them. Um, you know, last week was disappointing. This whole season, you know, you, you feel bad uh, for some of these seniors here that, ha you know, this is their only Friday night football game here in <laughs> Hopkinton, you know, because of the Triple E scare. So, you know, it's been kind of a, a choppy season. But, you know, you can always finish strong by beating Milford, playing whoever they play next week tough, and then, you know, you got Turkey Day, man. <laughs> I'll talk about that. that all day. <laughs> you love that day. You can't wait to get to November yeah. 28th, can you? <laughs> and I'll tell you what, they Ashland is actually playing in the playoffs tonight. They're playing um, Rockland at Rockland in, I believe, the Division Six um, playoffs. So, you know, we'll see where they are. They could – you know, Thanksgiving may not mean anything to them, or if they're eliminated by then, then they'll be playing their starters. Hopkinton will be playing our starters, and uh, that'll make for an interesting Thanksgiving day because we owe them. They uh, they beat they beat us earlier in the season. Yeah, and and Ashland being the winner of the Tri Valley League, league uh, large large yep. and first to your, time to your point that if they don't uh, if they make it to uh, the, the finals of the playoffs to Gillette, that game may not mean anything in the sense that they won't play. Their starters are going to want to keep things uh, intact for the Super Bowl. Yeah, they've got a heck of a game today, though, against Rockland. So let's work, let's let them deal with that, and then so, we can. So you touched upon the the quarterback situation at Milford. I read earlier uh, this week that the quarterback from Milford was injured, and I believe the name of the backup quarterback was Grant Scudo. And uh, but a little caveat to that: Jim Gerard's son, who's Very a, who we believe is a sophomore, is also a quarterback, and it'll be interesting to see if he gets any uh, any time tonight. As a side note, his dad they won. Uh, I don't know what the the Dual Valley. I actually Valley. looked at that. They Lincoln Sudbury. Yeah, they Lincoln Sudbury, where Coach Gerard is coaching now. Um, they're playing Massaconnement. Yeah, Massaconnement. Massaconnement, which uh, is a today. Uh, North Shore kind of combination school. Yeah. And uh, they won the Dual Valley Large, I believe. They did. They're the number, number two seed. seed. They're number two seed behind Reading, and they are, they're playing um, 
tonight, and they they got there by beating Waltham last week, 34 to nothing. So that'll take us to the national anthem, and we're going to take a little break, and we'll come back uh, once the anthem is complete. I'd like to honor those who have come before us, especially those who have served our country. At this time, we ask all those in attendance, please rise, move your hats, direct your attention to the flag in the north end zone as we honor the national anthem. the national anthem I don't think the band is here and and whatnot a, uh, it's cold I don't know how the inter instruments uh, will work in this kind of weather or does anybody want to put their mouth on yeah I, I think they're giving the band a break I think the band has been here for oh, a few John, of the day it's, games it's, though it's, we have the, we got to have the best band going I mean, oh they, they're a great band gotta be 30 40 of them show up it's it's absolutely awesome. they, they, they have been here for oh, the day all, games all three of them right um, right right so I you know again I want to welcome Don back this is our fourth game and uh, I've done, I want to thank Chuck Joseph, who did the first one with me, and uh, Mr. Everything, Mike DeRosian, who chimed in. Uh, Mike, All right. Mike's awesome, but he always wants to talk about the volleyball team. Oh, no, Mike, doesn't, Mike talks about <laughs> anything but football, which is great. That's, I love that. But um, I'm happy to be back. And, uh, you know, it was certainly it was a tough situation missing early, and then it was, it was really just conflicts with the, with right. the day games. I couldn't, sure. I couldn't make it. So I'm happy to be here. I'll be here tonight, and I'll, I'll certainly be here for Thanksgiving. That'll, be, right. that'll and, be fun. And before we get started, too, I'd be remiss not to mention uh, John Ritz is upstairs. It's cold, and he's the only one here that's technical. <laughs> so if anything goes down down here, we're, we're kind of yeah. out of luck because Don and I will just push buttons, and we'll probably be off the air. Yeah, no, we'll start do, uh, looking on YouTube or Google or something for help. So I can't see the numbers deep. Uh, for Milford, but Ash, uh, Ashland. It, Hopkinton will kick off, and number nine, Ethan Champlin, will do the kicking. And it's a, a squib that's going to be fielded by one of the up men. It's fumbled around a little bit, and it looks like number 25, Callum Greenwood, falls on the ball at about the 27 yard line. I'm not sure if that was just kind of, that uh, was a squib kick. I don't know what the strategy there was. Um, uh, is that have they been kicking like that all year? Uh, yeah, a little bit. There's been a little bit of a a squibber occasionally. I mean, it might be good speed in, in the back, and they didn't I mean, want to deal with it. That's uh, a really good field position they handed them. So we it's right just short of the 30 yard line. It looks like number 12. Uh, that's Gerard. Uh, Matty Gerard is going to be behind behind the quarterback, and he hands off the ball up the middle. And Don, I didn't see the number, but number he seventy-one. Up. Oh, I don't know who ran yeah. it, but number seventy-one made the tackle. And uh, the reason why we can't there's a glare on the windows. The windows aren't opening tonight. It's about twenty-eight degrees outside, and nope. I don't plan on opening up these windows. A little bit of a glare. So that brings up second and about seven, a three-yard pickup. So that's interesting that uh, uh, Matty Gerard gets his his first. Um, I'm guessing it's his first start at quarterback. He's in the shotgun. And a handoff up to the left side, and running back breaks it out, 33, down the sideline, and Lakasha cuts him down at about the Hoppington 40. Number yep. 33 on the on the run, Don. It was a long run, number 33 being uh, uh, Luke Rosa. 
Yeah, the um, the right or the left guard kind of pulled out and um, made a nice block on uh, our defensive tackle there and kind of turned him in. And there was a lot of running room there, so that was a well executed block and uh, and run by Milford Hawks. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, number ten, uh, Xavier Hilton falling down coming out of the huddle. Gerard's in the shotgun with Rosa to his left. And we're going to have another hand off to Rosa, straight up the middle, off the right tackle, and picks up about two, maybe three on the play. Yeah, I mean, Milford's line is, uh, offensive line looks to be doing the job early here. Um, I'd like to see Hopkinton get a little penetration um, from their defensive line. And it certainly looks like what Milford's strategy is here to run the ball and take a little pressure off their young quarterback. Absolutely. Now, we believe him to be a, a sophomore. The program says he's a junior. Uh, and we should know this. We've known Jim yeah, for a long I know. time. I could text Gerard, but I don't think he's going <laughs> to yeah, answer gonna, me. He's I don't coaching. think he's going to answer. That's <laughs> no. right. So, uh, Milford breaks out again with two receivers to the left, two to the right. And same shotgun with Rosa to the left, almost in an offset pistol motion. And we'll do it again. Rosa gets to the outside. Don, he's a pretty disciplined runner as he cuts it up. He keeps that ball tucked in. Nobody's going to take that from him. Yeah, he looks like he's got some good form for sure. And, um, you know, Milford, their, block, their blocks are sticking. So he's got some room to run. They're blocking well on the perimeter, too, with their wide receivers, which is how they got the gain there. So that will bring up – we'll call it a gain of four in the play. We'll call it third and, uh, third and three. This is where a negative play would come in handy. So Rosa looks like he's setting up on the other side, the right side, motion again. And a, uh, inside handoff to Rosa, but he doesn't, he, he doesn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that was an excellent job. There was penetration from, I believe, the nose tackle position. And then number four came in. Um, Max Lakasha came in from, uh, it must have been his safety position or cornerback or outside linebacker or something, but he came in and made a nice play to clean that up. Looks like the right the offense are going to stay out on the field. All right, so it's going to be four. We'll call it fourth and a long uh, – fourth and four at the – and they're going to call a timeout. It's, it's at the Hiller 34-yard line. So what is that, that area where you would go for it? Oh, sure. Especially in a, you know, and why, why not? <laughs> What do you got to lose at this point? You're right. Not, you're not going to Gillette, right? No, you're not going to Gillette. Um, and, you know, you're not going to punt, in, you know, where, where the, where the uh, ball is here. Now, this is, a, this is a big early play here for the Hillers. You know, that third down play, I'd like to see them bring a little pressure here. Um, Coach McLean is never, even from his defensive coordinator days, he was never afraid to, <laughs> to send a, a linebacker here and there. So... And that's exactly what they did on that last play. So we'd like to see them be aggressive here. Yeah, it's, uh, Coach McLean is that one of those energetic kind of guys that the kids like to feed off of. I certainly I feed off him up here. Yeah. You know, he starts going, and he's he's pretty excitable. And I, and I, I like to see that kind of expression. Yeah, he's a, he's a good guy. I was happy to hear that he got the yeah, job to, re, to replace Coach Gerard. And uh, I think, you know, it's been a, a kind of a tough year, but I think uh, he's got brighter days ahead. All right, so fourth and four. 8.18 to go in the first. A little bit of motion, and Gerard's going to throw the ball for the first time, and he throws it over the middle, and it's caught. And it's caught by Maxwell Martin. And it's going to be – I think he got the first down, but it's going to be close. Uh, I, I, I think it's a first down. I don't know. It depends where the stripes here. Uh, he was knocked back. He with caught that. it. I thought he caught it beyond. Yeah. Oh, but they're going to measure. Looks like we're going to get a measurement here on the field. Excellent. Well, I'll tell you, that was a, that was a nice tackle. Um, the, Gerard – uh, that was a nice ball he threw. Came out quick. He's got a quick release. Um, kid made a nice catch in traffic there. Oh, here it comes. So well, Hoppington seems to think that they, Milford got it the way they're, oh, they're stretching. And it's a barely. first down, but it's not by much. No. You know, a third of the ball maybe. Saparosh is trying to plead his case, but it, it's not going to win. Well, thankfully, there's no replays or no challenges, so we can just move on with the game. And so what are we doing? I mean, how irritating is the NFL now? Oh, 
It is getting I mean, tough it, to it, you watch it, it's flag, flag, yeah, yeah, flag, yeah, challenge, yeah, yeah, right. challenge, yeah. Right. flag. Turn it flag, into flag, flag, challenge, we're challenge. Have, we're going to have four-hour games. Replay, so. replay, replay. <laughs> it's like you can't – it's, no it's almost uh, – you can't watch it. It's riding the shotgun. First attempt is on the hot drive shotgun. And he's going to ride it to Rosa, and he doesn't – maybe back to the line of scrimmage or just at it. All right, so 54, and you know, this is my first game, so I don't know these numbers are kids, but the 54. Nice um, Luke McDonald. Luke McDonald and 34 Saparochas both had good pressure there. Looks like Luke McDonald's coming from his outside linebacker spot. He's had a good year this year, Luke. He's a pretty active linebacker. Saparochas got to lead the team in tackles. He's uh, all over as well. They got pretty active linebackers. Don't look to have a bunch of size oh. and Gerard throws a little little flare out to uh, Max uh, Maxwell Martin just a little flare Don as he pails out of the backfield and uh, picked up about five on the play yeah I mean that you know that's a tough throw there because um, you kind of got to hit him in stride which he basically did and uh, he had a lot of space out there so Hopkins did, did a good job to close and, and not get the, let them get the first down. Well, we're going to call it third and a long five. And they got trips left with the running back to the left. And a fake handoff to LaRosa, and this time a funnel screen. And it's 22, breaks through the tackle and gets to the, I think it was a touchdown, gets to the end zone. So a touchdown from Gerard to Dan Farrell, as he split the defenders, Don, and accelerated up through the middle. Yeah, I mean, he kind of grabbed that. That was a nice quick throw. Gerard's got a quick release. And um, he uh, that kid caught it, came, did a good job coming back to, to the quarterback to catch it, and then he just made one guy miss and then took it for a touchdown. Yeah, so it's 6.30 of the first. He looks quick. That, that, that kid that caught it, it looks like he's uh Farrell to deal with him. From Gerard. And the extra point, is that 42 or 43? That's 43. And the kick is going to be good. And C.J. Corella, or C.J. Sorella, kicks the extra point, 7-0. So Coach, Coach McLean's meeting them out on the field here, making sure nobody's hanging their heads. Uh, because, you know, that, that's probably the worst type of start that you, you can have. Yeah, the long drive kind of thing. It's yeah. 6.30. It took uh, four and a half minutes to get down. Yeah. Two long plays, it, it, you know, within it. And uh, you're right. Defensively, it's probably not the greatest start. But, hey, I bet you nobody thought the score was going to be 7 to nothing, and that was the final. So you got to get gotta get a move on and start to click offensively right out of the gate. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it, it's kind of windy out there, too. It is. You know, it's cold and windy, but it didn't look like it was affecting the Milford passing game. So, Hopefully Hopkinton, you know, will, will you know, be, get out there and fling the ball around a little bit. So Salyards and Mulvaney deep. And the kick is going to land and kind of check up. Oh, that's not Mulvaney. That's uh, uh, 21 or 27. Yeah. Mulvaney runs it out to about the, uh, we'll call it just out, outside the 35, maybe close to the 40. Yeah, he kind of juggled that, picked it up, grabbed it, and uh, made a really nice return. You know, took a hard hit at the end there, jumped right up. So that's a, that's a good start. The Hillers have the ball at the uh, um, about the 38 yard line. So generally, they come out in the two wide receivers either side, Mulvaney, either pistol or to the left or right, and that's exactly what they do. Bernard and barking out the signals. And a quick throw to Cole's, uh, to Keefe, and he gets it out to just across the 50-yard line into, or I guess they're going to mark it at the 50-yard line. First down for the Hillis. Yeah, Keefe just kind of ran just a quick uh, quick hook there. Uh, Bernard had got on the ball quick, and uh, then uh, Max Lakasha threw a nice block for him to get the extra yards in the first down. So they got some sort of tight formation coming in here. Are they? Almost a little like a Hollison thing here, John. What's going on? We don't see this yeah, very often. No, not yeah. <laughs> no, you're not. You're right. Yeah, there you go. I was yeah, say, these kids off sides here. Well, he had him covered up. Can't have the tight end covered up. And it's a straight, straight ahead to Mulvaney, and there's no doing. 
Yeah, that uh, number 79 looks like a pretty stout fellow. Um, he didn't get pushed back very far. <laughs> looks like the nose tackle. So running in the A-gap might be a little difficult. That 79 looks uh, looks like a little, little hard to move. So he picked up two on the play. We'll call it second and eight from the 48. Bernard and with no one in the backfield. Saparosius up tight, almost like a wing. Three receivers to the left. He rolls left and drops it off through the hands of Salyards and drops harmlessly. Yeah, I mean, Cole was wide open there. Um, the, the pass was a little behind him. He had the twist. It hit his hands. You know, just wasn't able to reel it in. Brings a, a third long third down. That yeah, was almost a back shoulder throw on a, on yeah, a I mean, on the ball. A Didn't tough. need a back shoulder. <laughs> right, right. All right, so they're coming up. It's an interesting formation. Split backs with a uh, a pistol. Bernard in the shotgun. Receiver right, receiver left. And quick. And he throws hard through to his brother Tommy, but uh, he had cut off the route. As almost looked like he wanted them to go up the seam, Don. Yeah, it looked like there was a little bit of a miscommunication here. Um, and that's going to, it looks like the Hillers are bringing out their punt team here, uh, which is a good call because yep. you don't, you know, it's still fourth and eight. And, uh, you know, now you're playing a field position game. You know, hopefully they can, uh, they can drop it in here. Who's their punter? It, uh, the punter is Bernard. Oh, Bernard. Or it was Bernard. Is that 11? I think yeah. it's 11. It should be Bernard. Uh, I can't see who the return man is from Milford. I think he's putting into a little bit of a wind. But he gets a decent kick out, and it's caught and brought straight up the middle and out to the right sideline. He cuts it up. He's got some room. He still gets out to the 50-yard line, a tackle by uh, Bernard. Yeah, that's, that's interesting because normally you don't – want to encourage catching a punt inside your inside your 10 yard line but that number 10 was not going to be denied yeah he, uh, Xavier Hilton yeah and I could see why because he looks like he could be pretty effective yeah, he's pretty quick he, yeah he came up the middle but then he cut it out right away and then got up the sideline yeah it might be better served trying to kick away from him and trying to go out of bounds next time yeah, we got a but uh, we must have something going on it's coming back Don oh okay good that's a big play I didn't see the call, Don. It looked like it was it was a legal, it was a hold or illegal hands. All right, so that puts it all the way back to the eight yard line. So I guess in the end of the day, it's an effective play. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that that worked out perfect for the Hillers because that was turning into excellent field position for Milford. So, you know, special teams and, uh, you know, that's tough because sometimes you get on the special teams, you get kids that aren't playing a lot. You know, they're an important aspect of the game. And then when you, you, you know, have a penalty there, that looms large. All right. So, Gerard, hands off to Rosa. I don't think this is Gerard. Oh, oh yeah, it uh, is. Okay, it is. I assume. I can't see the yeah, number. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I thought it looked like number eight at first, but no. Number eight would be Maxwell Martin. No, it's, it's Gerard. And he hustles over to get the play. They pick up about three in the play. We'll call it second and seven. Fourth oh nine to go in the first quarter. And they run a pretty stable offense. And it's going to be a jet sweep coming up the left sideline. Number 25. I think is that 25? Number yeah. 25 is Matt Ver, 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 I'm going to kill it on Vartergian. <laughs> yeah, that was just – he looks like he was pretty quick. The Hillers had that covered pretty well, though, um, and were able to run him out. Now, this is uh, this is an early third down here that uh, it would be nice to get off the field, shut them down here. And he's got. Uh, he's going to have three receivers to the right, one to the left. Gerard looks like Rosa in the backfield with him, and it's just a handoff. And he takes it to the right side and cuts it up, and he's going to be close to a first down. Cuts it up. That is going to be very close to the line of the game. So 
Done, done. The, I think looked like short. he was going. He was going straight up, and then he cut it out to the right side. And he is going to be short by yeah. about a half a yard. Yeah, he's short. Milford punt unit comes on the field. Brian Keith and Cole Salyard set back deep to receive the punt. Salyards and Keith are deep to receive the Hopkinton punt or the Milford punt. And it's a, a sky high punt, but it doesn't go too far. Way it's going to fall somewhere around the 40, side. and it gets a great Milford roll. It's out to where Hoppington last had the ball at the 48-yard line of Milford. Okay, so there you go. That was a nice stop by the Hiller defense. Now let's see if we can put together a couple first downs and um, and get some points on the board here. So, Don, something we're doing new now. We have an, uh, some sponsors here. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and the dentist at Hopkinton, founded by Jill Tanzi in 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton. Provide state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. They're my dentist. I would highly recommend them. And mine, too. Bernardin with three backs with him and wide receivers to either side. And he's going to throw. Oh, we got a whistle. And pre-snap's got to be Hopkinson, I would think. Uh, flag came from the far side, you know, when you're right, wide to shoot, I'm guessing it's Tommy Hamlet out there. Uh, yeah, you're on an island out there. It's yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> so what do we got? Let's, what do we got for a line here? Who's 71? You got Adam Adam Morin, right tackle. Looks like we got some size up there a yeah, little bit. Aiden Stewart. Who's the center? Same formation. It looks like a running formation, but uh, they've been passing out of this. And he's going to hand it to Mulvaney. And he goes right up the middle. He ran hard into the middle, but he didn't get much. Yeah, he did. Um, again, that was one of Milford's linebackers came up and filled that hole. And uh, while Mulvaney was running very hard, um, he was tackled very hard. So. Hmm. so no game. We'll call it second and 15. 2.28 to go in the first quarter. Milford's defense looks like to come off the ball pretty well. Second 15 again for the Hillers. And uh, more standard formation for them as they have two receivers to the left, but two backs to the left as well. And a fake to Mulvaney. He's got plenty of time to throw the ball. Looks downfield, and he's got Tommy oh, yeah. Bernard, and it's caught at the 19, uh, 29 yard line. And Tommy Bernard makes an excellent reception inside. That was an excellent. He was double covered there. Bernard kind of rolled out just a little bit. And, and that's his brother, yep. right? Yep. Uh, and then saw his brother, number 11, who was double covered, but he had two guys trailing him. Threw it really the only spot he could be thrown. And that was an excellent play, excellent completion. And it's a big play, too, because it was second and 15 at the time. But he had all day to throw, Don. The Hogs up front did their job. Yeah, you got number 79, 71. All right, so Bernardin's. In the shotgun, three receivers to the left with a wing to the left. And jet action, and he's swarmed under, but he gets out of the play, and he's going down the left. Left scene gets out to the left, but he, he didn't didn't pick up a whole lot of yards, Don, but he certainly avoided the sack and a loss of five. Yeah, he did, an, he did a great job um, you know, avoiding that. That could have been a, a tackle for loss for sure. And uh, Bernard escaped that. And then the linebacker or the defensive back from Milford closed on that play really well. I thought that was going to be a, a bigger game. Yeah, than, it looked like it was going to be a, a big one once he, but he started running parallel to the line of scrimmage. 47 seconds to go in the first quarter. And three receivers to the right, but they're not spread out. And just a quick flare out there. Mulvaney, he avoids one tackle, spins off, but doesn't get much. Maybe back, maybe one after the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that was just a little flare pass. Milford had that covered right off the bat, and uh, they made a nice open field tackle. Mulvaney kind of tried to do a little spin to get out of there, but it was a good form tackle to bring him down. All right, so that's going to bring up uh, no gain in the play. We'll call it third and ten from the 29-yard line. And we'll be lucky to get this play off in the quarter. Oh, they get it off. 
He fakes the handoff and he throws, dumps it screen. off to Saparosius on a screen, and he cuts it up and he gets down to about the 10 yard line. Or maybe the 50, uh, where is he, 15 or 10? Uh, looks like uh, about, the, about the 15. About the 15 yeah. yard line. And that's gonna be the end of the quarter. So a first down for the Hillers as they switch sides of the field they're going to have first and 10 at the 15 yard line that was a, that was a very nice play um you know traditionally you should be looking for a screen necessarily yeah. there i don't i don't yeah, know third and 10 yeah, yeah you might you might look for something like that yeah but they they didn't look like they were and it was a well executed you know um uh Saparocious was wide open took it up and then he made a nice hard run and uh, that's a big play now the hillers are inside the 20 yard line and chance to get, uh, get get close and get this game tied up. Now, how have they didn't been doing? Do they have a kicker? What's the kicking situation? Uh, yeah, standard high school kicker. I mean, Do they have one, yeah, though? Yeah, I okay. mean, you're not, gonna, you're not going for a 40-yard field goal, for right, sure. Right, right, right. Uh, but, uh, you know, he, they can kick. It's Bernardin. Or the, okay. The younger Bernard, I believe it's the younger Bernardin. One of the Bernardins. Okay. Are they twins? No, I think one's a, one's a senior, one's a junior. Okay. Which one's a senior, the quarterback? The quarterback's a senior, Tommy okay. Bernard. Okay. I mean, uh, Robbie Bernard, and then uh, uh, number 11, the uh, wide receiver. Is okay. A, is a, I guess the numbers tell you what grade they're in. Oh, no, Tommy's uh, number 10. I guess that doesn't do it. So I think, I think the, the, you can see the Hillers know that they're not going to be able to pound the ball on these guys. So they're coming up with an offensive scheme to kind of – and he's rolling right. Bernard and throws, and he has, oh, yeah. has looks like Keith. Keith probably somewhere around the five yard line. Yeah, that was just a quick uh, little rollout, and then uh, he hit Keith right in stride, and uh, and he turned it up. I mean, I thought he was going to get in there, but the, the Milford defender made a nice, open, nice tackle there to keep him out of the end zone. So, first and goal from, looks like just inside the five, Don. Oh, yeah, it's like almost in the four yard line. You know, it's funny, I'll go back and watch some of these things, and it's so much easier to see what's going on. It's just one level above us. Yeah, well, it's, it's uh, the, the, having this TV here is kind of nice. And Bernard with Mulvaney in the backfield. Uh, he looks to throw quick, and he's got out of, in and out of the hands of Tommy Bernard. You know, we always joke that that's going to bring up some, some sort of scuffle at the dinner table. <laughs> Well, that uh, that was that was a nice throw, and it was he had it in his hands, and that that, that well defender covered. number ten just did a good job did knocking a, it out. Did a real good job in the yeah. coverage. Yeah, that was just a good defensive play. Second and goal from the five. Me personally, I'd be running the ball. That's just the way I am. <laughs> That's who I you are. And Mulvaney up the middle, and he, you know, he cut through, but he didn't he didn't quite. Able to get his nose in there, but uh, he got it down close to the goal line. Boy, it's really, it's, it's God, it's right on the foot, foot. It's like an inch. And he was just uh, number 22 came up and made a nice stick, but Mulvaney lowered his shoulder and give him the ball again. And a handoff to Mulvaney, and he's got, caught. Is he in? He got caught in the backfield, and no sign yet. No sign. Only Hopkinton giving the signal, and we got nothing. It's well, be fourth down. you know, it's interesting here. You know, we, I could see that we don't, we're going out of the shotgun. So and that's not uncommon for Hopkinton. Um, we don't get under center very often over the years. But, um, I mean, she's out as fourth and inches. Mulvaney made a nice spin move not to just even get nailed in the yeah, back. Yeah, he could have been back. backfield. He could have been, he, he, that could have been minus the, five yards. He could have been down at the two, three yard line. Yeah, no, he, he did a nice job just spinning out of that. Um, it looks like we didn't really lose anything here, so it's no. we're still on the inch yard line. And, and that's the argument for the shotgun when you're, you, you know, the ball has to go back five yards, right? Yeah, so I, I, you I, can get yeah. penetration at that point. Yeah. Oh, we got a timeout. And timeout. Field by Milford. Hawk, Milford. And Interesting. Well, they probably wanted to see how they lined up, what they got. You got five of them. You might as well use it. 9.57. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't have surprised me to see that would have been Hopkinton uh, calling the timeout because you want to make – you got to get in here. Yeah. You know, you don't want to come all the way down here and not and not get in, so. Well, still early enough, even if you didn't get it. It might be – it might hurt a little bit, but you still yeah. have plenty of time to recover. Points, baby. You always need the points early. 
But they, they, they looks like they took Milford's punch and have recovered here, and they're saying, okay, we can play with this. We can play with this team. This has been a long drive, albeit a relatively short drive, but it's been a long drive. 9.57 to go in the half. Field looks like it's held up very well. Oh, it's just paint, looks just painted, right? Looks great. Yeah. You know, November 8th, and oh, it's been a pretty mild. Uh, yes, it has fall been. Fall and October. Yeah. And I'm not complaining about that, by the way. No, no, it's making the leaves come a little bit later, <laughs> so come yeah. down a little later. Fourth down so, okay, here we go. go. Fourth, Fourth and, and inches. This is it. About 12 inches outside the end zone. And. Bernardin's in the shotgun with Saparosius in the backfield with him. Steps Thanks. up. Andrew Saparosius in the backfield with Bernardin. And hand off to Saparosius, and he powers himself in. He got low and just powered in, Don. And he is into the end zone. Andrew Saparosius puts the Hillers on the board. Yeah, the Hillers had uh, their left right guard and center the had um, made, both made a nice dry block. It looks like they doubled the nose guard and took him out of it. And, um, and Andrew just took it and, uh, you know, stayed real low. That was an easy touchdown. So it's seven to six pending the extra point, and they're going to go for two. Interesting. Uh, maybe the kicker's not feeling good today. Yeah, we've got Bernard in the shotgun with Mulvaney to the left, and he hands it to Mulvaney, gets to the outside, gets to the outside, gets to the outside, gets to the outside and he does not in. get in. Oh. He brought it all the way to the pylon, Dom, and he just couldn't get to the cross. You know, that was that was really close, and I think if he would have been carrying the ball in his right hand, he would have gotten in. He might have been able to stretch it out, yeah. too, or something. Yeah, sure. but he was carrying it in the correct hand because he's running towards the left sideline, so he was carrying it correctly. But it looked like, ah, man, that's a tough one. It that's a tough is. one. Okay. Right. Well, I'd like to get a little scoop. Maybe we can get that. God, we don't have Deloitte anymore. We'll, we'll talk to some of the dads maybe. Oh, I'm not going out. I know. I was just thinking <laughs> I'm not going out there. I'm not going out. Maybe I'll wave. We'll wave yeah, wave someone in. We'll wave Salyers in here and find out when to get, get the scoop. He'll, he'll happily come in and get warm. <laughs> All right, so. All right, let's set the kick off. I'd like to see something different out of our kickoff here. I mean, that, that, that squib kick to the 35 not working for me. All right. But that's not, you know, that's not it's totally not unusual. Con. Yeah, in, but in, I mean, you got to. If you can't get it deep enough. You got to, yeah, if you can't get it deep enough, you got to, you got to do something more than that. So we got Ethan Champlin sitting in the ball and getting ready to kick it. And I can't see the numbers deep. For Milford. And it's another one of your famous squibbers that you don't like. Picked up at the 35 to 25 yard line and dropped at the somewhere around the 37 yard line is Matt. Oh, I, I, Matt, this, this is uh, Don. This is a guy, Vadarijian. We'll give him that. Huh? Vadarijian? No, that's not a bad effort by you there, Rick. All right. I'm but sorry. Apologize to any parents for butchering guys' names. I'm, I'm sorry. Even with that squib, I'd like to see it off center a little bit. You know what I mean? Put it over to the side. Make or, or I like those little loopy kicks where yeah, you kind of try to catch them as they come yeah, down. Yeah, right in this middle area here in mm -hmm. between the two lines. All right. So we have Naturad uh, in the shotgun. He's rolling right, rolling right, rolling right, and he's going to run it himself. He tucks it up. He takes a hard hit. Doesn't look like he almost fumbled the ball, but I think he was down. And he's going to pick up about, yeah, we'll call it five in the play, four in the play. Yeah, that was a nice, uh, that was a nice run um, by by Gerard there. He took a, a big hit there by number 25, Zach Levy. Um, but he bounced right back up, and uh, so it was a gain of about four yards. Clock running with 9.09 to go in the first half. Gerard's got three receivers to the left. Second down coming up for the Hawks. And a handoff to Rosa, yeah, and he gets left, timeline. and he cuts it up, and he's short of the first down by about two, maybe three. Yeah, the Hiller defensive line did a nice job there. Number 70, uh, looks like number 28 maybe. It's hard to say. 
But here we go. And it, you could be looking at this as a two-down situation here, too. Uh, getting close enough, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I might punt it from here if I was. But who am be I? Nice. That's why I'm up here, right? Yeah, yeah. Your day's passed, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice way to put it, right? <laughs> My day is bad. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, we're just a couple dinosaurs up here. That's all. Uh, I mean, you got to you got let the young guys like Sanborn climb up that ladder. No, he's and down, up and cold. down, up, up and, and down. down. He's, he's, yeah, he he's can cold up that. there, though. He can see. You know, he can see all the way to Boston yeah, when he's he, standing. He up probably there. could. He Gerard. Can. Oh, picked off. I can't tell. Is that Saporosius in the? Uh, Looked like it was at the line. I can't see who it was. Um, it looks like it was 34, Saparocious. Uh, yeah. So he's kind of stepped in front of that. Gerard kind of eyed that kid down, threw it, and then and then Saparocious just stepped in front of that and made a huge interception right there. So Hopkinton has a little bit of momentum here. Let's see what they can do with it. Yeah, the, a key turnover here at the – he returned it to the 44-yard line of Milford. And it's first and ten heading in with – Eight minutes to go in the first, uh, in the second uh, quarter. Empty set here for Robbie. Robbie Bernardin alone in the backfield, three to the right, two to the left. And he's quick throw down on the ground intended for Salyards, a one hopper. Yeah, it looked like it might have slipped out of his hand or something because Cole was wide open. He just, he just kind of ran a little curl. He could have gotten that and turned it up, and Bernardin just kind of came out of his hand kind of funny, and I don't know if that slipped or what. But on, again, we got motion coming back with Mulvaney, but we got penalty on the play, right and it's got to be probably uh, on Hopkinton before the snap. Yeah, In motion. Legal procedure. So it'll bring up second and 15. That looked like it could have been executed pretty well there. They were going to run a little read option there with the – with um, I think that was Mulvaney, Mulvaney motion, coming yeah. around there, so and and if he would have pitched it, he would Mulvaney could have gotten some yards there. So maybe they'll go back to that because that looked like it was open. Yeah, maybe not immediately back to it, but right, uh, right, sure. Uh, we'll see what what comes later in the game. Robbie Bernardin with Mulvaney, and two to the right, two to the left. And a handoff to Mulvaney. Nice cut, and he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Looked like somebody had his leg, but he got through it. Yeah, he kind of did a nice little sidestep there and uh, got him another five yards. Uh, Hiller offensive line throwing some nice blocks there. Number 70 looked like he might have dialed up a pancake there. Let me see. Hayes, Pearson. Woodruff. Woodruff, okay. Hayes, Pearson. Pierce, Pearson Woodruff threw, uh, threw a nice block there. It looks like he's the left tackle. Third long coming up on the Hillers. So we got third and about 11. <laughs> from about the 45 yard line. And he's straight back to pass. Looks left. And he's throwing it deep downfield to Tommy Bernardin. And it's up for grabs. And it's knocked away. On the coverage, well on the Xavier Hilton knocked it away, Don, as it was kind of up for grabs. Yeah, that's a second nice play that, that number 10 has made for uh, for Milford. You know, I mean, he, he, he wasn't open. That was excellent coverage. Uh, I think Bernardin was kind of just throwing it up there. And, um, you know, if, if it was intercepted, it would have been like a punt. So, and he was just seeing if his uh, his brother could make a play. But that... That number 10, I might go elsewhere. If I, was, <laughs> well, I would pick on somebody else, Those two participants are going at it right now with uh, Bernardin's going to kick. And Xavier Hilton is back, back to deep. receive, and he's going to let it drop. And that that's a bad decision as it bounces inside the 10-yard line down to about the 9. That's a great punt right there. And, and you know, Bernardin had a nice punt last time too, but that number 25 for Milford had a nice return. I'm surprised that we didn't see him back there again. Um but that's an excellent – that's what you want us out of your punter. You want them – you know, if you're kicking like that, that's – you know, I can't stand punters that kick, that kick it into the end zone and bring them out to the 20. Right, I mean, right. that's, uh, all you want them to do is pin them back, and that's your job. And and uh, Bernard did a nice job doing that. Well, let's see if we can play some complimentary football with the defense coming up with a stop, and they can get it back for the offense in Milford's side. 
of the field. Looks like Gerard's handing off to Rosa. Rosa goes yeah, to the left side, side and heading to the left sideline and doesn't really get much, couldn't really turn it up. Yeah, the, the nose guard, who I was kind of looking who that was because he, he doesn't look like a big kid, Eric Davis. Um, he like made he, some penetration off the nose guard, but then Levy came over and uh, scraped off from his linebacker spot and made a nice tackle. Aiden Stewart giving chase from, from the line. Didn't allow him to cut back into the field. So that will bring up a uh, huh, gain of about three, so we'll call it second and seven. 6.15 to go in the half. Second about seven yards coming up for the Hawks. This early start has me hungry, Rick. I didn't eat dinner. <laughs> uh, usually I thought Mike was going to have like a spread here. Yeah, I, I thought Mike was going to be here, but apparently he has a job, I guess. And it's a handoff, oh, and go. it's <laughs> stuffed out very quickly by – Don, I can't see who made the tackle. 28. Oh, is that 20, a Pereira maybe, 29? 28. No, 28. That's, uh, that's the nose guard. Davis. Eric Davis. Job yeah, he he's like I said. I noticed him on the first play. He made he made um, penetration, and then he got some penetration there too. He's a senior, Eric Davis, number twelve. I'm mean, sorry, number twenty-eight. And uh, that's going to bring up third. That was a, a loss. Eric of Davis, six in the play. Also yeah. a outfielder for the Dodgers and the Reds back in the day. I guess so. All right, so taking their time with this play, it's third, and and you know what? That the back judge has his hand up, and I guess he's being very lenient today because he should have called too much time, and it's a timeout by third Milford. Timeout called by the Hawks. Yeah, he had taken too much time to get that play in done. When you see that umpire or the back Davis. judge put his hand up, you got – I don't know if it's five here. seconds or ten seconds, but you have a certain amount of time to get that play off. And as soon as it comes down, the Milford uh, coach called timeout. So what is that? Are we counting the timeouts? That's uh, at least three, two, three. Three. I think it's three. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what's going on. I bought some 50-50 tickets. You so. did? Oh, yeah. Well, no, it's a sports program. I don't have as much money as you. I, I was I was too cold. I had, I was just running well, out. I actually I didn't even I, I don't even know where they're selling them to be honest with you. I actually was had change and you know it's a, it's uh, a yeah, long you, story. Yeah, yeah, it's a long. I have no way to go. <laughs> yeah, you might as well. You might as well tell me. Oh, you, you know you're driving me tonight. Did I tell you that? You didn't tell me that. Yeah, no, I'm riding I, the back I, seat. I, you too. can do that. Huh? That's all right. All right. So what what do we have here? We have or at least over to the place. That's fine. Yeah, it's yeah, third yeah. and third and thirteen. And Gerard back, and he's rolling, rolling, throws down the field, and he's – nice play, caught. I can't see who caught it. That's uh, number eight. He's not a big kid at all. No, that's Max Martin, and who was on the tackle? It was a pretty solid tackle. That was Lakasha. Lakasha, so, number four. So that was, a, that was an excellent throw by Gerard. He stepped up in the pocket, hit him right in stride. And then uh, that, that receiver made a nice play because Lakasha got there at impact, and he did a nice job holding on to the ball. He so certainly did. That you was know, a good play all around. You, you know, this um, – I'll get to this after this play, but a handoff as he fakes it. And, oh, he fumbles the ball, but Milford falls on it. Gerard had faked it, was going left end, got hit, fumbled. And I can't see. He was at 77. 77 for Milford. Uh, Sean Murray jumped on that ball to keep Milford possession. Sean Murray doesn't look like he gets many balls to, to jump on very often, so he's <laughs> probably shocked to see it. But uh, Gerard tried to make a, a little spin move because he was getting tackled in the background or backfield, and uh, I think it was Lakasha or, or um, Zaporosius. I don't know. One of them laid a nice hit on him. Caused the fumble. Milford's lucky to hold on to that ball there. So now it's second and 12 from about the 22-yard line. And Gerard fakes the handoff, shovels it out in a funnel pass, and brings it down close to the original line of scrimmage. Don, he looks like he throws a little bit like a, a Dan Marino kind yeah. of thing. He uh, keeps it on that shoulder and just throws from there. Doesn't really yep. wind up with it. Nope, no, 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 he throws a lot like Dan Marino, actually. It's a, it's a very quick release he's got, and it, it comes out of his hand. It's got a nice spiral. And we got a timeout by Hockington, and with a – Third and about nine. Uh, not a bad call if they can keep him here at a fairly long, uh, actually, 
if they don't get the first down, they probably punt, right? You don't want to be handing the ball over with three minutes to go at the yeah, no, at the 28-yard line or 35-yard no, line. Yes. Oh, this would be nice to get a uh, get a stop here. You know, I know Hoffman's record is not terrific, but I'll tell you what, the games that I've watched mm -hmm. have been entertaining. Oh, good. You know, they're, they're, they've been competitive. Um, well, I think you're right. There might be brighter days ahead here. Oh, I, I, I you know, right pass. Uh, screen. He heaves it up, and that's going to get the first down. He's going to get down the sideline, down into Hoffington territory. Gets down to about the 42-yard line. That is... I think it was 35. An Angelo down. Romero, was that 35, Don? Yeah, I think so. And that was an excellent, excellent call, excellent uh, execution by Milford there um, on the screen. Gerard kind of had to throw it over one of the linemen to get it there, but it was it was wide open, and they had some good downfield blocking to get even, even more yards. So that's a big play by Milford Hawks. All right, so his shotgun, Gerard gets him up. Some jet action. It's actually yes, kind of a pass. Yeah. It's Matt That's Martin kind of turns it up, he picks up about two or three on the play. Oh, do they give size to that kid, the number Is eight? Martin? Yeah, they don't have sizes mm -hmm. on here. He's doesn't look very big, but no, they. He's pretty quick, though. He's quick. Um, but Hopkinton did a nice job stringing that out here. And um, number 29 uh, for Hopkinton, yeah, Elias Piera, who's a. Um, you know, a younger brother of Hayden, Hayden Pierre, Pierre yeah. who's played here for years. Second long coming up for the Hawks. And Gerard right looking to throw, looking to throw. Up. Throws over the middle, Abram and it's a low ball. throw that to it's That's Martin eight. again, number eight. The the and he's down there. to about the 25-yard line, 24-yard line. And now Milford on the march with two minutes to go. Yeah, it looks like Hopkinton was in the type of zone there, and uh, the Milford just kind of cut off his route and dragged it across the middle there. And uh, and again, the, the Matty Gerard threw it right on the right on the money, and um, yeah, he threw it low, so he really couldn't run with the ball. But he was kind of throwing it where the safest spot was for the receiver to catch it, where he could only catch it. Okay, so we're down to 138 to go. We're at the at the 24-yard line. Gerard hands off to Rosa, and he cuts it up. No doing. In the middle of the hopping the defense just stuffed that. Yeah, the Hiller defensive line got off the ball there well. 54, 66. David Keones, 54. Luke McDonald, 71 is Aiden Morin and number 70 Pearson Woodruff. is Pearson Woodruff. So getting the beef in there and then. <laughs> Where's the beef? Well, you just found it. <laughs> there right? we go. We got, it looks like they have some pretty good size there. 66 looks all right. So we got second and 10. 250, not bad. Oh, bad snap, ooh, ooh, bad yeah. snap. Gerard's got to move and he's coming right now. Rolling right, rolling right. He looks. He looks and through the hands, actually not a bad throw intended for Xavier Hilton. He kind of threw it on the backside. He got his hands up there, but he went right through him. Yeah, he, he, I thought they could have called offensive pass interference there because it looks like he pushed off right at the right at the end there. But the, the ref knows that we're suffering with flags from NFL <laughs> hangover, and he gave us a break. But that could have been offensive interference. And it looks like Gerard is down here. Is that uh, the quarterback? It is the quarterback. So I, Don, Don, I don't, are they looking at his foot? I'm not sure. I'd hate to see it. I'm enjoying watching him here. Sure. All right. Remember having him around when he was just a, oh, yeah, I know. You know, a little kid. I know. Uh, he's got to come off for a play. He's, he's limping. And I can't see the number of the quarterback that's. Uh, Looks like number eight or six. No, eight, eight. is. Uh, well, did, I'm not sure. Martin, do they need to come out? I know the NFL you do. I think you have to come they out They need to come play, out yeah. one play? Okay, yeah. It's safety. You know, check them out anyway. Sure. One of the, the, the blessings we've had here over the years, we've had uh, Dr. Brian Pasconi on the sidelines. I don't see him here today, but. Well, he could. He, um, I'd be surprised if he wasn't here. Um, usually he helps out and gets out there. 
We'll take number six. Hopefully Chief Slammon's here. It's always good to have yeah. him here. <laughs> and you have a new bond with Chief Slammon, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I do. A friend for life, I would say. Uh, and then some, yeah. So can you see the number? Oh, for the quarterback? Uh, Is that 20, 22? 22? And it's handoff to eight. And he's running hard. Martin cut it back up, and he's going to be well short of a first down. Yeah, he's quick, but we weren't able to hold the edge there. So he was he was able to get around there for some yards, uh, bringing up a big fourth down play here. Uh, what are we doing here with the clock? They're just going to let uh, – oh, I was Farrell at quarterback, okay. and it looks like, looks like Gerard back in. He's got eight seconds. To, what are we doing? We got, we got timeout at Hopkinton. Why? Uh, I, you know, that's interesting. No, it's Mil I, Oh, it's Hopkinton. Yeah. yeah. I, may, maybe oh, Milford doesn't have any timeouts left. Seven seconds left on the well, I, I, I think I would have kind of <laughs> called a timeout there, right, if they didn't I, have one? Yeah, I don't know why why Hopkinton did. I mean, it looked like Milford was rushing. They are a little discombobulated yeah. there. It's li I'm not sure. Maybe they, maybe they don't have time. Maybe Milford. I know they called some timeouts earlier in the game. They have five. We've got they, two left. Let's get, They've called two so far. So Milford has uh, three left. What, you don't get five? Uh, oh, three and a half? Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was like five or something. It used to be. It, it used, used to be. Five. Oh, did it? Oh, well, that's good. They, yeah, maybe uh, that's it. There's the explanation. Well, even then, I mean, you don't. I'm yeah, you could have could have let them just run it down and have yeah. it the last play. Anyway, so. Well, set it up. Yeah, because it's now if they get a first down, I mean, you well, almost got to go for the end zone It's, it's fourth and fourth from the 20. And Gerard's going to throw into the middle of the field, and he is oh. broken up. Excellent. I can't see on the coverage. That was number 27, Cam Mulvaney, Mulvaney. Um, who made a, a huge play there because I, that ball was delivered very accurately. And the kid had it in his hands, and Mulvaney just came up and slapped it out of there. So yeah, that I, think, was I think that was intended for Martin, who kind of checked up right around the goal line. And yeah, that, that was Mulvaney a big – Mulvaney knocked it out of his hands. That's a big play. That's a huge play right there. All right, so as we finish up the half, the Hillers will go in to the locker room, down by one, seven to six, to the Milford Hawks. We will see you soon for the second half. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. A gun? I'm Haley. Hi, hi, David. Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love H Camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Welcome back, Hiller fans, for the second half of the Constellation game. First Constellation game for your Hillers versus the Scarlet Hawks of Milford. Uh, to recap the first half, at the 6.30 mark, Farrell from Girard, a 23-yard touchdown, extra point made it 7 to nothing. At 9.51 of the um, second quarter, Saperosius, a one-yard uh, one run, the two-point miss, that brings our score to 7-6. to six. Don, not a whole lot of scoring, but a bit of an entertaining game, though, in the first half. Sure. I mean, both offenses are moving the ball. Um, there's been some big plays on both sides of the ball defensively by the defensive backfield, uh, breaking up, you know, touchdown passes, including one right there at the end. And, um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's an excellent game, and it's really just being separated here by an extra point or a failed two-point conversion. So should make for an interesting second half. So as we get ready to kick off, Milford will kick off to Hopkinton. Cole Salyards and uh, Cam Mulvaney are deep. And CJ Torella to kick off for Milford. And it is a chilly night out there. Not a whole lot of wind, I guess, but enough to feel a little worse. And he gets a deep kick, and it's going to be picked up, bounced by Mulvaney. 
And up the middle he goes, he spins, he's down at about the 30 yard line where the Hillows will start first and 10. That was a nice deep kick by the Milford kicker. Mulvaney did a good job, caught it on one bounce and then took it up and you know, just really could get what he could. He made a nice little spin move there to get a couple extra more yards. A little note, Pereira, Pereira was going back but elected to let it go and bounce versus getting in the way and okay. uh, that kind of thing. So yeah, that was good. It, it, good. Did, it did bounce, probably shouldn't have bounced, but at least he didn't get in the way there. All right, so we got Bernardin with three receivers to the left. Tommy Hamlet, very wide. He gets the play from the O.C. Bernardin, Mulvaney in the backfield and, back and the pistol moves up to the right of Bernardin. And a quick throw and again throw down flat. low. No, it hit down the ground again. They're having a tough time with that throw to, to Salia. It's that quick little hook Yeah, thing. Yeah, that's, again, it looks like it's coming out of his hands a little strange. And, um, you know, Cole kind of had some separation there and uh, just kind of was a, just a, a, an inaccurate throw. You know, the Bernardin kid, uh, he, he looks like he throws the ball pretty well. So he sat behind Kelleher, it sounds like, yep. for a couple years. Yep. So he's getting his opportunity here. And he's grown a lot since last year. I, I remember him coming in a couple times late, and he throws. It's tipped, and it's almost intercepted, but hits the ground. Rosa almost came up with a deflected pass. That was very close. It looked like he did uh, trap it there. Defensively. Although I thought you could use the ground now. I don't know what is. Oh, you have to catch that? it first, though. No, you have to have know. possession. The ball can't touch the ground. Well, that's in the NFL, you know. I don't know. Who you know knows? What are you going to do? That kid made a nice effort there. They're lucky not to, not to get that intercepted. Empty set for the Hillers. So three to the left, and Bernardin rolls to his left. He looks, he looks, sets up, and he throws. And it's going to be short of the first down, though. Salyards caught it, but he's about two yards short of the first down. Yeah, it was kind of a roll left throw back across your body, which I'm never a huge fan of, but um, he did a nice, that was a nice ball, threw it right on the money. Uh, Cole was just kind of dragging it across, but yeah, he um, wasn't able to get the first down there. All right, so looks like we're going to punt the ball as Tommy Bernard and counts up his players. Tommy Bernard, I'll lead the huddle for the punt team. Xavier Hilton, deep. Sets up around the 30-yard uh, line of Milford. And a low punt, and it's going to bounce, and Hilton picks it up. And number 14 is on the tackle. It's uh, Nick Lassesi. Help me out there, Don. Nick. Nicholas Lassesi. Yeah, that's, that's where I went. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. He... Uh, he, he, he did a nice job getting down there. Made, and if he didn't make that tackle, there that number uh, 25 there had some, some running room. So that was a nice open field tackle that Lassesi made there. All right, so <clears throat> Milford would take over on the after the punt at the 28-yard line. And Gerard comes out on the center. First down and 10 for the Hawks. Gerard in the gun. And they got jet action motion coming across, and Some Milford jumps somewhere. False start on the Hawks. Good news there for the Hiller defense. That's and that'll first set him up first and 15 after the false start. Anytime you could get a uh, high school offense in the long, long yardage situations, it's a good thing to get the, to get the drive started. All right. 10.43 to go in the third quarter. Same motion. Hands off to Rosa. Rosa going left, looking for room. Kind of cuts it up, and he's still running. Still running. Gets beyond the original line of scrimmage. Gets out to about the 31-yard line. Pick up about six, maybe seven. Yeah, I mean, Hopkinton kind of strung that out there. The, the uh, defensive end held his, his end, um, but then the Milford running back just turned that up and made kind of something in, out of nothing. Yeah. <clears throat> so that brings up second and about eight from the 36-yard line. That kid runs hard, though, Rosa. Yes. <clears throat> Gerard, back to pass, pass, and he throws over the middle, and it's Good deflected. Play, nice man. play by Pereira. Came around Elias Pereira with Z uh, excellent pass Xavier Martin. 
or Xavier Hilton and knocked that ball away. Nice coverage by uh, Pereira. Yeah, it looked like he was open, but uh, Elias just kind of came around and did a nice, uh, nice job knocking that away. That ball looked like it was fluttering a little bit. It didn't look like it came out of Matt's, uh, Matt's hand that well. So um, that's a big play there. So let's see if we get off the field here. So we'll call it third and a, a long seven, short eight. And Milford got two receivers to the right, running back to the right of Gerard. And another motion. So Every time they do that play, they, they get a penalty. <laughs> it's kind of interesting to why that is, I don't know. On a night like tonight, I'm sure the officials do not want to be throwing flags. No. Anyway, we, let's get this wrapped up. Everybody's cold. Let's go home. They'll give you every chance to keep it from happening. It just helps with the flow of the game, too, you know. What, what's that? What, what did some nutbag used to scream? <laughs> it's not about you, ref. Yeah. Very long some guy. I don't know who that was. In, in the Hopkinton black hole. Yeah. And Gerard, oh, he's, he's on pressure. It's a screen, screen pass, but screen Luke pass. McDonald sniffs right, it out with Saperocious. And they just Harris stuff it right around the, the 35 or 30 yard defense. line, and it's going to be fourth and a, and a ways. Yeah, McDonald looked like that was the same kind of screen um, that they had a, a long gain on in the first half. McDonald kind of stayed home there. He recognized it quickly and made a nice tackle. Okay, so it's fourth and 10. And we got two returners back. And it's a oh, end over end, end short kick, but a nice bounce. And it gets to about the Hill of 47 yard line where it drops dead. And the Hills will start first and 10 from their own 47 yard line with 9 11 to go in the third. That wasn't a very good punt, but it was a very good bounce. Yeah. So it was effective. For Melford. So it was effective. Sure. Looks like we've got a little bit of a crowd uh, filling in here a little bit. You know, yeah. some faithful. The students are all showing up, which is nice. Yeah, they got nothing better to do on a Friday night, except maybe stay warm. All right, so here we go. Bernard and with Mulvaney. And quick throw to the right, and it's caught. And driven backwards is Salyards. Gets out to about the 48-yard line of Milford. Call it second and five. Yeah, just a quick, uh, just a quick out there, and it looks like uh, Hopkinton's going without a huddle here. Yeah, they got a the pace fairly a little tight bit. formation. Yeah, they're gonna throw it again, and he's looking for Tommy Hamlet down the left sideline. He's open. He's open. He's got it, and he's out of bounds at the seven-yard line. Don, great throw and catch for the Hillers. Yeah, uh, you know they, they had. Uh, who is that, Hamlet? Hamlet? Hamlet made nice separation. He's the first guy that I've seen to be able to make some separation off of number 10. And he got behind him, and uh, Bernardin just threw a beautiful ball, landed it right in his bread basket. That's a great play by the Hillers. As they say today, he dropped the dime. Yeah, that was excellent. Now, first and goal from the six-yard line. And a handoff to Mulvaney, not much doing. Pretty staunch line there for Milford. Yeah, it looked like Hopkinton was trying to run some sort of trap there with their right tackle or right, um, but they didn't. They didn't get a right guard there, but uh, it didn't work. So second and goal from the six. Mulvaney in the pistol steps to the right. And Bernard runs, and he, it was going to be a pitch. An off oh, oh, he fumbles the ball, and the ball's up, but it's a touchdown, it a touchdown first. Touchdown. He called it a touchdown. He called it a touchdown. It a touchdown. Tommy Bernard faked the pitch on an option, cut up and tripped and stumbled, and then was hit and then continued to jump into the end zone where it was a, a touchdown. And that will bring the score to 12-7. to seven. Depending, I'm guessing they're going to go for two, Don. Yeah, well, you would figure they certainly should go for two here. But he uh, looks like he kind of banged into his one of his linemen and then cut back and just went airbound. And uh, and uh, it, it, that was a that was a great effort. It looks like he's shaking up on the play. As, as Chris Berman would say, he was stumbling and bumbling, right? He was stumbling and pelt. You got the backup quarterback Aiden Kelly in the game here. 
running this two-point conversion. Mulvaney to the right in the shotgun. And it's a handoff to Mulvaney. He stops, he cuts, and he's not going to get enough momentum to get in. So the Hillers go up 12-7 to seven and do not get the two-point conversion. Hillers will remain on top 12-7 to seven with the excellent pass to Tommy Hamlet. And the All right. Well, that's a nice. Um, that's a very nice turn of events for the Hillers. Yeah, it's 7:56. Is the that the opening quarter. drive too? No, 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 no. Right. They punted and punted. Oh yeah. Okay. We we'll have to get you some oxygen. I have. Well, I, have <laughs> I haven't eaten anything. Yeah, Rick. that's a valid point. I'll ref have to, here had a pretzel. I'll have to get a hot dog over the there. Her, the her kids over uh, here eating hot dogs. I mean, nobody's eating, bringing everybody's me anything. But you, I guess. All right. Well, that's What's okay. On, I'll keep an eye on starving. you. Fred. All right. At 7:56 of the third, that is Robbie Bernardin with a six-yard run. Let's give a hand to the Varsity Hiller Cheer Squad. The missed two-point conversion brings us 12 to six. 12-7. All right, that's what I said, 12 to seven. What? Right? <laughs> 12 to seven. That's a tough spot for the backup quarterback to come in there. I mean, you kind of knew what exactly what the play was going to yeah, be. Right. I mean, he wasn't going to throw it. He wasn't going to be throwing it. No. Aiden Kelly, the sophomore. Where is uh, where is Bernardin? Does it look like he's being worked on here? I don't I, see I him down there. I don't see anybody sitting. And it's kind of a, a, a loop kick, and it's Short caught. Kick fielded by the Hawks. And it's turned up field, and they get out to about the 43-yard line. It's returned by Grant Scudo. It was just a little pop kick there, Don. Yeah, and, and again, I was kind of alluding to do that kick, but I like to see that over to the right. It's going to be know? on the sidelines. On the sidelines, right. You give that outside guy who's usually got some pretty good speed. And yeah, but I, I mean, to go get it. giving them the ball on the 40-yard line, that's, a, that's tough every time. So it's a 44-yard line that Milford will start their own 44-yard line. Good, good field position. Gerard First down and 10 with Rosa in the backfield with them, two receivers to each side, motion. And, and it's, a, it's, it's actually a pass forward side. to. Excellent read there by the Hillers. That's Matt Vart. And uh, that actually counts as a pass on as he kind of sets it forward to the back coming in motion. Yeah, and the Hillers had that sniffed out. I mean, that was the, the, the defensive line made a nice penetration there. And uh, there, was, there was nowhere to go. They were lucky they only lost a yard. But the fumbled ball certainly played into that, right? You got to catch it clean and get it, be able to get the corner and turn sure. it up. All right, so that lost a yard in a place, second and 11. Oh, bad snap. Gerard, Gerard does his best just to go get it. Good thing he was rolling right. He, he hits. Mulvaney on the tackle, and it's 25. Matt Vartesian again on the reception. Brings it down to about the 40-yard line of Hopkinton, where it's first and 10. You know, uh, Gerard did a nice job there taking that snap. He really caught it with one hand. It was an inaccurate snap. And they rolled out to the right and threw on the run. Uh, again, hit the hit number 25, who's turning out to be a heck of a little player there, um, right in stride. And that was, a, that was a very effective first down play for Milford. All right, so it brings up first and 10 from the 41-yard line of Hawkington. 6.18 to go in the third. And Rosa that'll be like right. an option right, an and he option. pitches to Rosa up the short sideline, and he gets Red to about the 39-yard line maybe. You know, 40 yard line, somewhere around there where it's going to be second and about nine. Luke McDonald did a nice job there making them make that pitch quick, and then uh, Levy just came over and made a nice tackle for really uh, you know little gain there. You know, a lot of these kids did not play last year. They got a couple returning starters, but for the most part, this this is a young Hopkinton team here, inexperienced. And Gerard back to pass. Oh, he, he's looking, he's rolling right, rolling right, throws, and it's picked off by Mulvaney. And maybe he fumbled the ball. I don't. Well, that was definitely an interception. 
Yeah, well, that's just interesting because if it's if it's an incomplete pass, it's going to be fourth down. If it's a fumbled recovery, it's going to be first down going the other way. So this is a very important call. I would say that was an interception and a fumble. That's what it looked like to me, but uh, we're going to find out. And he's what? We got a timeout, and it's first down. Yep. So that's what it was called, an interception and a recovery, change uh, of possession. Change that's a bad break. Start. It is a bad break, but. Now, I don't know, did he did he just drop that or did he get smacked? It looked, he like, he smacked? Got hit. It looked like he got hit. Okay. He had it up, you know, he caught it up high. He hadn't quite yeah. really got it down yet and was spinning and running. And yeah. Still a defense looking for another big play here. All right, so it's first, first and 10, ten from the 41-yard line. And motion. Back deep. He's looking, he's Which looking, throws left. over the middle, and oh, he was oh, holding him. Boy, that could have that could have been interference, Don. He had him wow. held up pretty good. Should have been. <laughs> I mean, you know, it should have been. I mean, he's holding his arms yeah, down. Yeah, I don't down know why they the wouldn't box. have called that, but they didn't, and that's a break for the Hillers. Yeah, Max Martin just couldn't get his hands free because they were being grabbed. Yeah, I don't I don't <laughs> know why that wasn't called, but that's okay. We'll we'll take the break and a stops clock at 5.43, second and 10 for Milford at the 41-yard line. It was a quick first half, too, it seemed. I'm telling you, the cold, the officials want to keep this going. Yeah. Everybody wants this going. Yeah. Fans, you know, it's cold out there. Sure. So Gerard getting the play in from the sideline. I've never seen this three clap, two clap thing. I don't. I don't. I, I, don't, I don't understand the clapping, <laughs> and I just. I wish we had a louder venue that <laughs> they could make them so they couldn't hear the clapping. And Rosa right up the middle, nice hard Rosa, run. Looks like he's going to get the first down at the 30-yard line. Not to mention, it's cold out. Wouldn't well, that hurt your hand? Is there clapping all the time? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, he's moving. He doesn't feel too bad. Yeah, I guess not. A uh, nice tough run by Rosa up the middle. Now, this looks like they gave Milford a little life here, you know, that uh, get that first down there. Now they get another one. Now they're kind of driving here. And a click. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Hit you know, the, the way Gerard, three, the, the, the way Gerard led Max Martin, uh, he led him too far in that, on that flare and uh, almost got his head taken off. Yeah, well, I mean, Salyards was all over that. Made a nice, uh, excellent lower your shoulder, clean tackle. And uh, they did a, that receiver did a nice job just hanging on to that ball. So no gain on the play, second and 10. Uh, maybe a loss of a, we'll call it second and 11, a little bit of a loss. Second and 10 coming up for the Hawks. You know, defense looking to remain tough. So one receiver to the right, three to the left, wide side of the field. He's going to throw to the wide right. side. It's a s funnel screen, Up to the left side. and it doesn't do all. Again, doesn't get much going on, that and that looks like uh, Salyage and Keefe just wrapped Brian him up Keith. and brought him back. Now Hopkinton's playing some physical defense here. I mean, they are not. Uh, right they're back definitely back bringing the, the uh, their shoulder pads and and, so and and having some really solid tackling here. Um, you know, that looked like another pass that kind of got away from Gerard there. Yeah. It was high, and uh, the way it came off his hand, it, it kind of – was fluttering a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Okay, so it would be nice to keep him in, you know, low yardage gained here. So it's a long fourth down because it's likely two down territory at this point. You would figure. Long coming up for Gerard. And he's back, back to pass. pass. He's got Brown time. Skate. He throws over the middle, and it's picked. It's picked, off. picked off by – Cam Mulvaney. Cam Mulvaney's been all over the field tonight, Don. Well, that was an ill-advised pass there. Um, yeah, that was covered. Hopkinton had Mulvaney kind of trailing that, plus they had another guy over the top. So uh, that was an ill-advised pass by Matt Gerard, and it was picked off by Mulvaney. And this time he hangs on to it, and now we do have a change of possession, which is huge play. 15-yard line for Hopkinton to start. And before we start, the, the drive oh, – no, I'll get to this after the drive – I have to the play anyway. Here. Just over three and a half left in the quarter. Three thirty-eight to go in the third quarter. Bernard with Mulvaney in the backfield from the fifteen. Yeah, quick pass too, and it's through the hands, yeah, almost, almost intercepted by Keith. Kevin O'Connor. Got his hands up, went through his hands. Done. Yeah, yeah, he, he, it was that was. Uh, 
I was lucky it wasn't picked off here. Now, you know, this is where you, you'd like to establish a little bit of a run game to take, uh, you know, enjoy this lead. You got it down in your own end here. It would be nice to get a couple good runs and chew up some clock. He was getting the play out to his wide receivers on the far side. And it's going to be another pass quick out to Salyards. Yeah, and Salyards. he makes one guy Good miss, juice. but the pursuit is coming. And he gets Chase out to about the 21-yard line. Salyards. Excellent play there. That was a nice little cold turned up there. He had a nice block out there by Tommy Hamblett um, to help him gain a few more yards here. And uh, looks like they got a third down in about four, yeah, three and a third half. And four. Pick up of six in the play. And the student section getting into it, that's for sure. All the windows are closed, and I can hear them. Well, that's nice. Again, like I said, it's been tough for the whole the whole class, you know, not having any Friday night games this year. And Bernard barking it out. And a handoff to Mulvaney. A lot of traffic yeah, in the Mulvaney. middle. And he get, like is he going to be close. close to the first down? Uh, he had 71 leading the way out there. That's going to be a first down. Yeah, I was going to say that. I think he's got that. Okay, nice job. That's a gutsy call there. Just, you know, straight run, kind of like a. You know, a lot of people in the middle of the field, too, and he made his way through. Yeah. Okay, then yeah, empty backfield now. And Bernard wanted to throw quick, dumps it off now, and it's kind of short to Saparosius, and it falls incomplete. Yeah, it was short and behind him. He's lucky that number five didn't get his hands on that. And that looked like it was, a, it was kind of a slow developing. It wasn't a screen, but it was a slow developing play. Um, very lucky that that wasn't a turnover there. Okay, that brings up second and 10. 2.23 to go in the third. And it's a, watch a quick pass, gets a slant. He gets Tommy Bernard and down, streaking down the middle of the field. And he's going to make it all the way. Nobody's going to catch him. And Tommy Bernard and a 70 yard pass from. Robbie Bernardin at 2.10 to go. And the Hillers go on top, 18 to 7. So, Don, he just uh, he faked a little quick one. He got the slant coming into the middle and turned it upfield, and bye-bye. Yeah, no, it was uh, it was a nice little play action thing, and that little play action brought the brought the linebacker up a step, and then the Bernardin kid just kind of came in right behind him on a – on a little post, and uh, his brother threw him right, right in, right in, uh, in stride, and it looks like the Bernardin kid could run because uh, they didn't catch him. And they're gonna go for two again. <laughs> Hasn't been their greatest play tonight. In the pistol, fakes the handoff, rolls left, dumps it into the middle. Saparosius. Excellent roll to the left by Robbie Bernardin. So the Answers two point conversion is good. That brings up on top 20 to 7. 20 to 7. 210 left in the third quarter. At Excellent the 210 mark of the third quarter. Okay, so that's nice. So that that's a that's a 95 yard drive. Uh, 80. Big, I think they started at the 15. 15, okay. Yeah. So they uh big play from the Bernardin boys and uh here we go. Now we're up two touchdowns. So that's this is a nice turn of events here. It certainly is, and as we mentioned, Milford plays up in Division Three South, and we're in Division Four South. And not a, not a, from one division to the other, there's not a big discrepancy in school size. But uh, I think you know, it's good to be putting on a good show uh, against an opponent that's the uh, division above you, though. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And I don't think you know we've struggled with Milford. We have played them in recent years I know here. We played them in the playoffs in say 2014. Lost. And we probably played them again Once since again, then. Let's hear it for the Mars and Hiller cheer squad. We, we played them down there in a playoff game. We did. Once again, Champlin set to kick off for the Hillers. So Champlin to kick off. They have a single. Oh, well, they're, you know, they're kind of snuffing us out a little bit. They got the single. Guy deep, and they're going to do this again. Good it's kick. a good All hop for. He cuts to his left. <coughs> they're going to start around he the 40 yard line, Don. Oh, 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 he's gone. What happened? I thought he was down, Don. A little bit of trickery. Nice. No, he, oh, they, he handed it off. He, they handed it off. He handed it off to that kid. I Looked like he was. I think he was being tackled, and he somehow handed it off to him. Uh, it was Grant Scudo that had it, and it looked like he was down somewhere around the forty-yard line. Yeah, and, not, and they, I don't see who popped out. I didn't. See they who obviously didn't out. blow the whistle. Um, 
And that gets him all the way down to about the 10, inside the 10-yard line. So I think it's first and goal. Yeah, and see, that's, that's tough there. You know, that's a huge play for Milford. <clears throat> 154 to go in the third, and Milford this gets kick a, game. This kick, this kick game is driving me nuts. <laughs> gets about a 65-yard return down to the yeah, nine That, that hurts. Line. But you see how Milford, uh, they didn't have two guys deep. They had a, two guys no, up and a, a, a yeah. one guy in the middle. Ah, I wouldn't put anybody deep. And it's going to be a pitch out to Rosa, middle. and he doesn't get much. Uh, a host of hillers. Quickly. In fact, the entire hiller team is within a, two over yards over. of him. <laughs> well, the defense has got to kind of take this personally here. I mean, they they got their backs up against the wall. They've been playing very well. And uh, now they have an opportunity to kind of step up here. And um, and if they if they could somehow make a, a stop, that would be, that'd be huge. So he picked up a few yards. It's going to be second in goal from about the – call it the eight-yard line. And they got a tight formation, similar to the war set from Holliston. In fact, it's right. very much the war set from Holliston. Excellent job, looks like Rosa. Is that Rosa? It is not. That it's Cameron 43. Mulvaney. And who else but CJ Sorella. Yeah, the, the Hillers did a nice job stringing that out. Looks like they made a quarterback Third change there, too. And uh, it looks like number 22 is in there for quarterback. So and, you know, I think Holliston does the same thing. When they run, run this war set, they bring in essentially another running back because they don't really throw out of it. And... Milford might have seen this, you know, on tape or whatever. And Why? Well, did, did they run it a lot against us when we played Holliston? Holliston, you know, they do run it. They didn't run it a lot, but they right. did run it. But every year they run it. I mean, oh, it's yeah. Part of their, right. It's part of their scheme. All right, so this is at the, I'll call it the center yard line. Defensive line for the Hillers is doing a great job, though, controlling the line of scrimmage. And Gerard. Right looking to throw, pass. he's looking left, looking left, looking Look left. He's, he's flushed rolling. out, he's flushed he's out, he's going left. Roll. He's not going to get anywhere. He he's down. Again. Guess what? I'd ask you who made the tackle, but you already know. Levy exactly. on the tackle, Levy, gone. And the Gerard captain. tried to stretch it out to the left sideline, but just couldn't make yeah, it. Yeah, you know, and he had time there. I, first of all, I thought Luke McDonald was being held. I didn't call that, but they, uh, McDonald or uh, Gerard kind of floated out to the left. He had time, but the Hillers had it covered, and then he tried to scramble at the end, and uh, Levy came up and made a nice stop. So that's the last play of the third quarter, and as the team we're switch ends, because we're going all the way down, down to the seven-yard line. Hillers looking to mount well, I mean, Beach Camp Sports is supported by our viewers in the dentist at Hopkinton. Founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. So this is uh, interesting here. Um, I would assume that they would go for this on fourth and seven. Fourth and, well, he lost probably about five uh, yards. That's, I bet that's it's fourth, be fourth and goal from the, that's what, it was third and seven. I think he lost some yards. Uh, so, I mean, let's say, I would think that they, they could kick a field goal here, but I don't know, I don't know why you would. I don't even know. know if they can. Yeah. Well, they did kick an extra point. A little sweet Caroline on third quarter, uh, fourth quarter versus seventh inning. I don't know. It's all right, I guess. That right, gets the kids going. Gets you. I can see you dancing here. Here I go, right? All right. There it is. Just don't touch, touch. Yeah, don't, all right, here we go. They're going for it. Fourth and goal, and it's a oh, oh double oh, reverse. Gerard. And he's got Gerard and open, but he didn't throw it far enough. It's right by the and it's going to be stuffed out. And, and, and Salyards came up to make the initial the uh, contact, fooled. but I don't know who wrapped them up at the end, that on. Poor boy, Hopkinton did a nice job on it. You know, they were very uh, disciplined there. You know, Gerard was open, but uh, they closed on it very quick, and you hit on it, Rick. It wasn't a, a good throw, um, and it enabled Bobby Hopkinton Mitchell to react and then and the then and then shut that down. So that's a huge stop by the Hiller defense. Boy, they really are playing well. That is beyond huge, right, because it keeps a, a two-score game this intact. Is, this is nice because I was looking at the scores, and I see they've given up some points in they a have. couple of these games, you know. So this is a big game for them. That's nice. So it's turned over at about the four-yard line. First and goal from the four, and Mulvaney struggling to get to the line of scrimmage, and he might pick up one. 
Yeah, so this is this is where you'd like to chew up a little bit of clock here. You know, maybe get a first down or two. Um, you know, you got to be careful down in your own end because you don't want to. You've got a little momentum here, so you don't want to give it back uh, to Milford. So it looks like he might have gained a half yard. We'll give him one on the play, second and nine. Bernardin with Mulvaney to his right. Fakes, looking to throw, looking to throw. Throws it deep down. He's wide open. Is is Salyard, Salyard at about the 25-yard line, Don. Nice throw by uh, Bernardin. Yeah, I don't know what kind of pattern that was, but Salyard's was wide open, and he did a nice job by, you know, the ball was in the air, and I saw he looked down to make sure he had enough space here to make the catch. But uh, that was a, a very accurate throw by Bernardin and, and a nice job by Salyard's. Yeah, and he fakes it, and Bernardin coming to the right sideline just oh, does not step out of bounds. Gets tackled by... And if he moves, the field of play is, uh, is that eight? Yeah. That, that is Max Martin on the tackle. Yeah, that's a great job. By, uh, you know, a very uh, smart play by Menard not going out of bounds and keeping the clock rolling. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to get out of bounds. He just <laughs> could I don't know. I thought he it. dropped. I thought he dropped there. <laughs> and that looked like it might have been a little off sides. Bernard looked to throw, and it's oh, almost picked off on the coverage is Xavier Hilton on a pass intended for Tommy Hamlet. Yeah, he got lucky there because the uh, Milford, Milford defender broke on that and uh, it hit his hands. He definitely could have definitely could have intercepted that. So Hiller's got lucky there. Okay, so third and five from about the 32-yard line. Uh, no, 30, uh, right, right on the 30-yard line. And they're going to call timeout. Couldn't get the play in. Oh, this is a this is a big play here. You want to keep possession, you know. You want to, you know. Hopefully, you have a couple plays every week. You have a couple specific plays that you know you think will be have a great chance of working. And if you got one now, this is the time to use it. But I was touching on earlier, Rick, about this team. You know, that's a lot of their seniors didn't play a lot last year right. you know i mean that you know hopkinton's uh, had some good teams these last few years as as you know a lot of these years we've had good teams but um this group of seniors there's only been a few of them that have played really got a lot of varsity time so you know it, it makes it a little difficult especially at the beginning of the year but they've done a nice job and i'm telling you we're winning on turkey day yeah I'm just well, filing this away right now get it? You're, you're on record right now don uh, i see only 10 10 seniors on the roster as it is yeah and Heck. that's another thing when you have small senior classes are tough and it's only two senior cheerleaders as well wow so uh, it's just one of those years yeah and it happens i mean high school football is so senior dominated that if you got a small class and that makes it tough. Screen pass to Saperocious, and he's trying to get down the sideline, and he motors through a couple of people, gets down to about the 44-yard line. That's been, a, that's been a big play for Hopkinton. Uh, the screen pass it was very well executed again, and Saperocious did a nice job there, and then he had a nice downfield block, but I, I think the other Bernardin kid was throwing a nice downfield block there. You want to know what's interesting? I saw Coach McLean pointing up to the to the tower up here. He was looking. I wonder if somebody saw ah, something. Sanborn said, probably called in the play. He says, hey, let's get that screen pass going. Ah, Sanborn. We'll give him credit anyway. Sure. Right? We he's, don't know what's going on, but we'll tall. give him credit. We'll give him, give him the tall. He's tall. We'll give the tall guy the credit. Bernard, nobody in the backfield from the 44-yard line. Rolls, rolls, throws, and Bernard catches it, and he's down to about the 38-yard line. Ah, just a nice little gain, a safe pass, stayed in bounds, hung on to the ball, nice gain of five yards. I mean, Milford is Milford's pretty stout. You know, they're tough to run on, so Hopkinton's adjusting very well and, you know, throwing those little short passes there to keep the offense moving. Yeah, so it was a good gain in a play, second and a short five. 9.17 to go in the fourth quarter. Second and short five. And looks, throws to Sa uh, Keefe, Keefe, actually. Keefe gets it down to the 29-yard line where he's pushed out of bounds by Max Martin. Yeah, uh, Keefe made some nice separation there. Looks like he's got short hands, gathered it in. And uh, he did a nice job staying in bounds. Clock's still moving, and Hopkinson's on the move again. 
So first and 10 from about the 29, 28. And going to be the Good option, pitches out to Mulvaney. He's got and he's got going down the side. He cuts in and cuts out and gets down the sideline and there's going to be a flag on the play. And Good that's, run that's there usually in the some looks sort like of block problem or a hole. Yeah, it looks like he looks uh, is at number five or six downfield. It looks like he might have been holding downfield. Keith, I think he might have been holding, um, trying to make a downfield block there, trying to help his, help his running yeah. back out. He got the he hold. Pitch there to Mulvaney, but there is a holding on the play. Well, that's a spot foul done, all right, so it doesn't come all the way back. It's going to be. It's going to end up being a still a gain on the play. It's not a first down. I mean, I, I could have sworn he was past that first down marker. Well, he when was, that right? Flag. He was. It's a ten yard penalty from the spot. Oh, okay. From where it happened. So it's right. going to make it gotcha. a, a first and six. I mean, first and four. First down and about three. Yeah, quick pass to quick pass. Tommy Hamlet in and out of the hands. Number eight, Tommy Hamlet. Ball, ball, he let it get in kind of tight to his chest, but uh, it, down it looked like Martin was on the coverage. Yeah, Martin did a nice job closing there. Uh, you know, what Hamlet did, though, was let that ball get in on him. You got to catch it with your hands. Can't catch it with your, your shoulder pads, and, uh, you know, it just bounced off. And Bernard and hands off to Mulvaney. Tough oh, run, scoots run. through, and his picks up a first down. I think it was Dying number away. 19 on the tackle, Josh Kravitz. Done. Nice little uh, yeah, stutter no, right side through there. Right side of the offensive line did well there. 71, um, Aiden Morin, and uh, the big kid there, 79. What's his name? Aiden Stewart. And Mulvaney again slides right. And this time met as he's going perpendicular to the, or parallel to the line of scrimmage as he's trying to slide and he not able to pick up too much. Picks up about two on the play, second and eight from the 12. Well, hey, Rick, I'll tell you what, we can pound this in here and that's going to put this game out of reach. I would think so. Yeah. Yeah, let's end this thing right now. Clock is running, 7.14 to go in the fourth. Bernard and looking it over. And fakes the handoff. Looks for Hamlet on the slant. Ball and that incomplete. ball, I didn't really get to him, did it? Was it, it I get it. it was a tip or? I, yeah, it looked like it was tip. That was a dangerous pass, too, there. The, the, I mean, he wasn't slants. really that, yeah. He wasn't that open. You and know, there was yeah. traffic from the inside. Yeah. All right, so that's going to bring up third and eight. The cheerleaders are doing a great job, coached by Ashley Pellucci down there, still cheering. And <laughs> this is one of those games they don't want to stop cheering. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Keep They're those probably hands doing push moving. Do push-ups no matter what. Uh, fake handoff rolls left. Bernard and backing up, backing up, backing up. And it's whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, ball, it will, I'm not boy. exactly sure who it was intended to, but it bounced up and, and fell to the ground. I'll tell you what, they're lucky there. There's a lot of white jerseys there. Bernard and's kind of backpedaling, throwing. You know, that's that's a dangerous throw. They got lucky there. One of the things they'll tell you, quarterback, is do not be throwing that ball. Right. Backing up off your back. No, foot. especially not in that situation there. Now, I don't know if they want to the kick a – would they the um, kick a field goal? Go up two, uh, 16 points? 16 points. Still a two-point, uh, two-possession game at that point. I'd, I'd keep him. This way, at least you keep him down. Pin, you pin down at the 12 if you don't get anything. And he's going to roll right, rolls. Looking, looking, throws, and it's that ball ball defended. That will be a it looked down. defended by Kevin O'Connor, number five, as he got a hand on it and tipped it into the end zone. Yeah, they had that cover, and it looked like right at the end there, Max Lakasha just kind of dragged out. He was open in the back of the end zone, but Bernard uh, didn't see him. So, okay, so, you know, the, you look on the bright side, that was a nice long drive. And it took some time off the clock. So now Milford's only got 637 left here. So uh, the defense has got to remain strong, and let's try and get a win here. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the priority, right? Well, they're going to come out get throwing the, the ball oh, for you sure. You know they're going to come out throwing. they got to get some yards. they got to get some chunks of yards. 
and get the ball back again. So uh, Girard is uh, hands off to Rosa, and he dipsy doos, but uh, Hayes, Pierce, and Woodruff would have none of it and kind of still hung on to him. That's kind of surprising, you know. I mean, here I am saying they're coming out running and throwing the ball, yeah. and they run a Well, give him a little room maybe, huh? You got a young quarterback. And it's handoff to Rosa. He's quickly into the arms of Hayes, Pierce, and Woodruff. Woodruff. Oh, now what are we doing here? I don't know what's going on. Woodruff cleaned up. I don't know. I don't know if it was uh, Saparosius that had him low. Now that's a late flag there. So yeah, he might have twisted him coming off the. Um, he might have twisted him coming off the pile there, Don. It looked like there might have been a little extra going on. Uh, Got to watch yourself here now. You know, you don't want to give him. Yeah, you know, now you're giving him a first down. And not only that, but you're bringing it out to the 35-yard yeah. line. Those defense looking to regroup here. All right, they're getting 70 out of there. He looks like he's the one that's having the it issues. Might, it might have been the uh, – that's how I saw it. Anyway, 5.57 to go. Milford moves it out to the 35-yard line. Gerard and Rosa are in the backfield. First down, 10 Two receivers loss. to either side. Gerard, straight pass. back, looking left, He's and he looking. throws, and oh, it's through the hands. It was Brian through Keith. the hands ball of ball uh, Don Farrell, or Dan Farrell, maybe. And uh, I don't know, uh, was it, it was uh, Keith. Salyage or Keefe? I think it was Keefe, and, you know, it, 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 yeah, that was a very catchable ball. I mean, Gerard delivered it, uh, you know, pretty accurately. It was a little high, but it was catchable, and it went right through his hands, and, and luckily for Milford, it went right through Keefe's hands, too. Yeah, Keefe so. was too close to, to be able to adjust to the yeah. ball coming through the hands. I think hands. he was shocked that it, it came, yeah. it made it to him. And second and 10 from the 35 motion. And he's going to throw. Back. That's a little flare for the running right back. Side. And nothing doing. Rosa. And another got another, flag. Yeah, that that's either a hold or a face play. mask or something. A lot of people in there. Yeah, I'm not sure where that. Ta they're talking about it. He's McLean doesn't look happy. No, he's talking to the kid from – he's talking to Hawkington. And he goes over now to see what he wants to do to the Milford coach. Oh, it's against uh, okay. Milford. It's against Milford. Okay, good. So head coach Anthony Vizakis from Milford. He's kind of done a nice job over the last couple of years. Yeah. Putting the program in the right direction. Um, even though tonight might have been a – might end on a sour note for him. He's certainly got some talent on that side of the field. and uh, Yeah, he's got a couple good skill players for sure. Well, this would be a nice game to play on a, a, a non-league basis. You yeah. Know, right next door. You can get a little rivalry going. Absolutely. Like that. Absolutely. All right, so – when it's all said and done, it was a personal foul against Milford. That's interesting. Okay. It was a block in the back. And it's coming back a long way, and it's okay. going to be, what, second into Cornell's for a first down? <laughs> I think if it was up to us, we could make that, Rick. <laughs> I think we got a play for that. I, I think I could lead you there. I, gotta, I could lead you right there. We definitely have a play for that. I could tell you that, much. Hey, he throws. Look at the throw. He throws deep down the right sideline, and it's out of bounds. Coverage by Pereira on the far sideline, and the ball falls out of bounds, Don. Yeah, and, P and Pereira did a nice job. I mean, it was he wasn't he had it covered. And uh, he kind of used the sidelines to his advantage and just kind of ran the receiver out of bounds. It was a very nice coverage. Yeah, that's good technique to use that sideline, yeah. that boundary, and just kind of lead him in there if you can. Definitely. So it's going to be third and a long ways to go. Now, I mean, you got to figure. I mean, I don't know. Do you, do you, it's, it's two down. Yeah, uh, you might as well. Oh, well, yeah. geez, look at the distance here, man. I know, but you got to do something. I mean, you know, chances are you may not get the ball back. You know, another time. You need this. a chunk play. He's under pressure. He's under pressure. He's sacked. He's sacked. And I don't know Looks if they like call it. No, he's down. saying he's down. But Gerard was sacked. Sack down and around the nine-yard line. And that's going to be a change of possession. 
That was the defensive line. That was Eric Davis. That was. Uh, I know that's a that's a huge play. I mean, that's yeah. a jailbreak situation right there, right? You you man up and if he can throw the ball thirty yards, great. If he can't, I mean, yeah, you got to punt this. You got to uh, fourth and a long way. Punting from his own end zone. Oh, and he hooked it. He hooked it left and high. It's a decent bounce, goes out around the. Very, very good field position. Yeah, he's for touched right around the 32 yard line. All right. By Grant Scudo. And the Hillers will take over at the 30. We'll call it the 32. And that's where it is. Yeah, okay. So that was a very nice turn of events again for Hopkinton. And, uh, you know, they're sitting in the catbird seat now, Rick. I mean, yeah. you, know, you got 450 left. Got the ball on Milford's 30-yard line. Let's just kind of run some run plays here and get out of here. Well, even if you ran just four plays, you're going to run significant time off the clock. Now, and how, how many time must does Milford have? Uh, probably two. And it's going to be a handoff to Mulvaney. Yeah, he's running, running hard. Mulvaney, he is still on his feet. Mulvaney he gets close to a first down, down and it's tackles by run there. Jacob. Bulos. And it's a first down for the Hillers as Mulvaney just bowled his way through. Yeah, that was, the, I mean, that, great job. The right side of the offensive line is doing a nice job, and Mulvaney's running hard. He's not a big kid, no, but he not. runs hard. Certainly a downhill type runner. Yeah. And he's got some nice feet, have a too. Timeout, hot. Timeout, Milford. At 4:19 in the fourth quarter, it's an interesting timeout, I guess. Who called that, Milford? And he turned around and pointed to Milford. So, ah, okay. At first, I thought he was going to point to Hopkinton. So, what do we know? What's going on next week? We yet? don't. We don't. So, it, it depending on who wins and how many right. games you've had, they try to figure out sure. who's coming to town or who's not going to town because as, as teams drop out of the playoffs right. they become available to play right right and I, I think that we've, we're not expecting a home game especially since we well, have we had four we have a fifth one so we yeah we, let me, we could yeah we could get one I don't know if we're expecting one but yeah. we could get one yeah I guess we could but especially with Thanksgiving I'm thinking I think that they were thinking that this would be the only one last, last one yeah so I'm um, guessing Thanksgiving will be like the senior thing because I don't, I didn't see anything. Yeah, they uh, usually do do it on Thanksgiving now. Okay, so let's reset it here. We got first and ten from the twenty-yard line. We're not no one in the backfield. Empty set in the backfield. Quick pass to, Quick pass to Sally. Oh, uh, Keith. And, and Lakashi was trying to block, and they ran into each other, but he gets down to, oh, we'll call it the 10-yard line. Yeah, that was a nice quick pass. Um, Keith caught that ball in traffic and made a, did a nice job getting positive yardage. Uh, empty backfield again. Yeah, it's just going to throw it 4-10 to go. And he's looking left, and he throws. Oh, I – it was intended for Mulvaney, but I thought he was going to take the guy slanting. I think it was Sally slanting across the middle of the field. I thought he was going to throw it there. Yeah, he was trying to get it to Mulvaney, but it was uh, it was behind him, and um, Mulvaney got his hands on it, but it wasn't. Uh, yeah, almost looked like he hung on to it a little bit, like he was. Yeah. You know, I wanted to go here, but I'm going here right, now. Right, right. All right, so second and goal from the nine, and he rides him, and he fumbles fumble. the ball. And I don't know who's on it, but Bernard and run pass option or even just an option, read option. Looks like the and it's going to be Hill's ball as he lands on his own fumble. Oh, no, he didn't land. I yeah, maybe he big did. Boy. Oh, he got it? Stewart. Okay. I don't, know who, I don't know who was on there. Stewart. Like one of those linemen got guess. it. Yeah. Aiden Stewart there saving the Hiller drive. Okay. The clock running at 3.34. Yeah, I mean, that was when you want to just kind of let it milk down, you know, take your whole, th you know, 35 seconds or whatever they give you in between. Yeah, interesting call. I haven't run that all day, uh, you know. Yeah, the read, read option. option kind of thing. Well, it looked like they hadn't because, uh, you know, they, they, they bumped into each other. It was not a smooth exchange there. Like Mulvaney wanted the ball, and yeah. Bernardin was taking it back off of him. And he hands off to Mulvaney. More, more traditional handoff there and picks up a few yards. So it's going to be fourth and goal from about, 
Uh, what do you think? About the 10? Time out here by the Hawks. Yeah. yeah nine. Nine to to Down to about the nine. Fourth yeah. goal. So, again, you know, I'm, go, uh, I'm going back to, again, without knowing their field goal situation, it wouldn't be a horrible thing to try a field goal here and, and go up to, to make them get two touchdowns and two two-point conversions that's, uh, if you had a field goal kicker. That's a lucid thought, Don. Yeah. That's, you know, well, that's, I mean, I'm a thinker, Rick. I'm a thinker. You are a thinker. I used to coach, remember. <laughs> the gap eight. The How leather, can I forget? Yeah, exactly. Leather helmet days. <laughs> But I, you know, I, but again, have you seen them kick, you know? N nothing that would lead me to believe that there's going to be a 30-yard field goal. Yeah, well, what are we on here? The, the 10, nine, yeah. 10, 20, uh, tw uh, 26 yard. Yeah, I guess yeah, maybe they I can mean, get a 26. Should be able to. I would think so. Little John Denver to wrap up the night. Little Mountain Mama, we're coming home. All right, so empty backfield. Bernard, fourth and goal from the nine. Quick pass to the right. Good he's strike. got Brian Keefe. Keefe, and he's not in, but he's very Looks close. Like he he's get down about the one-yard line. One. And that is where the well, it's an effective play, Don. I mean, it's a long way for yeah. Milford to go there, with 2.49 to go in the fourth Yeah, quarter. I mean, that was, that, was, that was a good play, Look and, nice and Brian – Brian made a nice catch of the ball, turned it up. The Hiller, the uh, Hawk defensive uh, back there just made a nice hard tackle, keep him out of the end zone. Yeah, knocked him sideways versus letting him get forward into the end zone. Well, I mean, now uh, Matt Gerard's got 99 yards here to try and, and you know, get, get the Hawks back within a touchdown here. So it's certainly a daunting task. What you don't want is give up any big plays here. I mean, you, you know, you've got to like to see them have a – Deep safety here, played a little conservative. McLean's yelling at something. All right, well, head coaches, that's what they do. Oh, yeah. They yell. There's nothing wrong with that. No, right? no, no. That's, that's the only way you can get people to listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Milford is in, in, at the, at the one-yard line. And... and uh, Gerard is, is in the end zone. Just back to pass. He's just going to heave it out. It's down the sideline, the and Keep is in coverage Excellent for a pass intended for uh, Dan Farrell. Falls harmlessly at the 30-yard line, and we'll play another one. Yeah, uh, Keefe had good coverage there, and he turned to look for the ball. He did a nice job. So the clock stops 241. Well, I'll tell you, this, you know, Hopkinton kind of gave up that first touchdown, and they've, they've pretty much controlled the whole game since then. They, they, they certainly have. They've shut down a lot of the Milford uh, run game. Yeah. Uh, and Gerard's going to throw a quick hitter, and there, that's the Farrell box. again, and he's out to about the 15-yard line. That'll be a first yeah, down. Six, Brian Keith had him around the ankles. Yeah, just a nice little quick slant there. Gerard threw it, um, threw it right where he needed to to, to get to get that completion. Um, but Hopkinton made a nice job tackling him quickly. You know, we'll give up those eight-yard oh, plays bad, all day long. Bad snap. Gerard's got to roll, 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 and he just throws it away. And is he hurt? He's on the ground. Maniac himself in the backfield, Zach Levy. Gerard's hurt. Yeah, I, am I, was that. That, did that hit come late? Because I, like, he got rid of the ball, and then I, I didn't see him get hit. He must have. I, I didn't see what happened there. I saw him get rid of it, but I didn't. And the ball was it was a bad snap, I believe. I don't think it. I don't think it got to him, and he had to field it like a shortstop and then take off to the right. There's Coach McLean's out there. You know, I'm sure he's he's known him for years. Matt Gerard, running around. This has got to be an interesting game for him to be playing. I'm sure he knows a lot of these players. Well, how would you like to go to the Gerard house if Lincoln Sudbury loses tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think I might pass until Sunday. <laughs> I know. No kidding. Okay, he's getting up. 
Yeah, I don't think Dr. Pasconi's here tonight. He's a pretty busy man, but he makes a lot of time uh, for the programs here at Hopkinton. He normally is here. Give a hand for Matt Gerard so, the game tonight. When they ran the other offense, it was Dan Farrell was the quarterback. But I, there's a, a lot of. Dan Farrell now I, checks in I, as the quarterback for the Hawks. I can't tell who that quarterback is. And he throws. Oh, oh that's, that's Farrell. On a, that's Farrell on the reception. That yeah, was 28 that threw it. Reception. Oh, it's 20. Yeah, I couldn't. 28. Yeah. And we'll give that. Uh, there's no 28 in the roster. How about 26? Mm, yeah, maybe. Hawks still driving here. Not going away quietly. First down and 10. That's 28 in the backfield with no, the, the whoever the I can't see the number of the quarterback. Oh, 28 is the quarterback. And he's rolling. Oh, he's, ru he's rumbling and stumbling, and he gets – there by the Hill defense. Loses some yards, but 28 – again, no 28 in the roster, so. Yeah, I mean, the d defensive line's still coming off the ball hard and not giving him a lot of time to sit back there. Hillers are doing a nice job covering the receivers, so this is uh, – 135, 134 to go in the f fourth quarter, second and 11. Oh, he drops the ball and just uh, dumps it off to his running back, but I think it hit the ground. Well, you know, yeah. you don't know. This, uh, uh, this 28, I don't know if he was playing another position. He could have been standing over there on the sidelines yeah. all game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Freezing. And the next thing you know, it's like, hey, get in there, quarterback, and catch the snap. Yeah, and, and by the way, drive us 90 yards. All right. right. <laughs> So, yeah, that's a tough situation there. Yeah, I don't remember seeing. He could have been playing on defense, but I don't remember seeing him at all in offense. Yeah, I don't, I don't think. It's, his uniform's not that dirty, so I don't know. But, again, we don't have 28 on the roster. Unless it's 26. Could it be 26? Could be. Ravon Mays. Back deep. And he's going to throw, and he heaves it up deep, up. and Farrell almost catches Going. it, but – Keep yeah. is on the coverage. Yeah, I was, I was, that was definitely – Brian Brian can't be pushing him like that. that. That's interference. I'm going to call that on Keith. But uh, considering the 26 degrees that it is outside without the wind, um, you know, I'll let it go. <laughs> oh, he, wait, I thought he threw a flag. No, I didn't see any flag. Oh, geez, okay. All right, well, good. Let it go. <laughs> One twelve to go. Milford, I would say this is it. If they there can't convert, there's literally no chance for this to work out well for them. And Back deep to pass. throws, and he throws to the He's right sideline, and it's and too long. And it, it looked like it was uh, Xavier Hilton on the intended receiver. It just couldn't get to it. Right, and that turns over on downs, Don, with 103 to go. Right and I'm guessing we kneel it, and we're done. Yeah, now we're getting into victory formation here. And um, that's, a, that's a nice win for 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 Coach McLean and, and the Hillers, you know, uh, after what's been, like I said, a choppy kind of season here. And uh, to come in here on your first Friday night game and to, and to get the win against Milford, that, that, that's a big win. That's got to feel good for these guys. All right, so let's wrap it up as we got 103 to go in the first. Milford came out at 630, uh, a touchdown well, pass from Farrell from Gerard, 23 yards, 7 to nothing. Milford went up, but then from there it was all Hopkinton. In the second, the 951, Saparosius, a one-yard TD plunge, and the two-point missed, made it 7 to 6. In the third, 756 to go, Bernard in a, a, uh, a six-yard run, uh, dove into the end zone, another missed extra point. It made it 14 or 12 to 6. And then in the third, Bernard to Bernard in a 70-yard long touchdown two pass. The two-point conversion was good. And that Hill leads us to the 20 to 7 final that we have done. Um, it was a certainly an entertaining game. And kind of as the game went on, Hopkinton kind of dominated. Yeah, no, they, 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 they took Milford's first punch there of, uh, of scoring and getting down 7 nothing, and then they just kind of stayed with their game and, and uh, did an excellent job. And the defense really 
um, kind of controlled the whole day for the Hillers. So that was that's a nice win. So, like you said, a nice win. Um, they've had three wins at home. All of their wins have come from home. Uh, so it's a, a friendly place to play. So maybe on Thanksgiving, your dream will come true with a Hopkinton win. <laughs> well, but before oh, we wrap up on tonight, we got to thank this guy to our left, John Ritz, who's been up to John the All Weather Ritz. And he's been doing the camera, he's been guiding us and what we're doing. So for John Ritz, he's Don Lehman. I am Rick Decina. We will see you at least at Thanksgiving, maybe next week. But have a nice night, and we'll see you soon.